Zone Weather, the CBS2 Weather Track, only on CBS2 News. Don't miss the amazing race, Australian adventure. CBS Wednesday, 8, 7 central. Oh, the baby. Come on, wake up. Hey. Are the kids upstairs? Hey. No, thank God. Jack, you want to call an ambulance? No, no, she just passed out. She, she'll be fine. Uh, hey, babe. Hey. Hey, you still with us? What happened? Yeah. Oh, my God! Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. That better be my attorney. Paul, what are you doing here? You okay, Mr. Coleman? Yeah, I'm fine. And between you and me, I hope you press charges. You can't let him get away with that. With what? Throwing me up against a wall and shredding what's left of my dignity? I, I hope he gets life. Hey, uh, I could use many, many martinis. Man. On the house. Thank you. Well, Emily, this is the last message you're ever going to receive, and it's way more than you deserve. Your uh, beloved husband is on to you, and that is a fact that he made excruciatingly clear about ten minutes ago when he threatened to rearrange my face if I didn't tell him where you were. So, uh, anyway, he's been arrested, and that gives you a little bit of time to get out of Dodge. Now, I suggest you take advantage of this opportunity unless you want to spend the rest of your days in the penal system. So goodbye, Emily, goodbye. This is it. We're done. I don't ever want to see you or hear from you ever again. Henry, what has my daughter done now? Don't even think about it. You breathe wrong. I pull the trigger. Hello? Dusty. Dusty? 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 Little Mermaid felt at home in the tub, except when it came to washing. It was all slimy and slippery as jellyfish. Fortunately, there's Can Do Instant Foam Shampoo and Body Wash. The foam shampoo covers your head and helps stay out of your eyes. And the body wash helps to easily wash the rest of you. Now, mermaids love to get head to tail clean every day. I can do it too, Can Do. Seem like you're not noticing that air freshener you plug in? Now there's new Febreze Noticeables. You'll notice the freshness of Febreze Noticeables because it automatically alternates throughout the day between two scents. So with each change of scent, the freshness is renewed week after week after week. Febreze Noticeables guarantees long-lasting freshness you'll notice or your money back. Febreze Noticeables. It's that fresh. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Yo, Pepto Bismol. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Yo, Pepto Bismol. Pink does more than you think. Word. New Crest Whitening Plus Scope Extreme. With all the skin creams out there, it takes an expert to choose. My expert choice? Total Effects. Fight seven signs of aging with the number one beauty editor recommended anti-aging cream, Olay Total Effects. 
Always Ultra has Elite Guard barriers and Elite Guard core, <laughs> it's game over for leaks. Have a happy period. Always. The way you do the things you do. You're starting to copy whatever dad does, right down to the underwear. That's why you're wearing new Easy Ups, not diapers. And now Easy Ups have leakage protection in the middle for girls and up front for boys. Maybe dad should get a pair. New Easy Ups from Pampers. And baby, you're so smart. Tonight on The Late Show, Ray Romano's dancing. I would never think of doing this material when I had a show on the air. <laughs> Willie Nelson singing, and so is Dave. Ba, 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 ba. Tonight. A life-changing guide helps you create the life you want. Tomorrow on The Early Show. Is that a person? It's just a bunch of old bones, honey. That's all it is. In our house? Okay, listen. I'm going to take care of this, okay? You just focus on me. And I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Come on. I want you two to follow us upstairs, please, and do not touch anything. Okay. Oh my god, Mike, no wonder you were so freaked out. I'd give anything if you hadn't had to see that. Okay? All right, come on. Come on. some calls. I want to get forensics here. I don't want to secure the scene. If you have any questions at all, I'm sure Mike and Katie can answer some of them for you, but I want the three of you to stay up here. As soon as we know something, I'll fill you in. Can I get you something, Carly, or tea? Or... No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine, thanks. Look, Carly, um, I know you probably have a lot of questions, and I don't know how much Jack told you, but um, this is all my fault, and I, and I am very sorry. So am I. I've been trying to reach Emily all day. Yeah, well, that's a lost cause. If you'll excuse me. Well, weren't you just talking to her? No, uh, not that that's any of your business, but I was uh, leaving her a message. Well, why are you so angry? Mm. What is going on, Henry? Tell me. I'm her mother. I have a right to know if she's in trouble again. Because she is a grown woman, and, and you know what? If she is in trouble, trust me, you don't want to know. I don't want to know. Obviously, something is very, very wrong. Oh, I know. She's probably sworn you to secrecy. But you know and I know that she needs help. Her behavior these past few weeks has been totally irrational. No, Parent, it's, she's, she's, it's been a joy. It well, has. That's why we have to help her. No, I'm, I'm out of the helping Emily business. Since when? Susan, I gotta go. Henry! Henry. What kind of friend are you? You stood up for her at her wedding, for God's sake. You were her ring bearer. Not my choice. I don't understand. I, and I can't explain. And I, I'm sorry, Susan, if that's rude in any kind of way, but when it comes to Emily, that's the best I can Henry, do. Henry, what have you done? Me? Have you done something to her? Have you involved oh her? Oh, what is this, my fault now? Anybody who would encourage her to marry Paul Ryan. I, that was, no, that was her idea. Paul you. Ryan was her idea. He's paying you. That's why you cozied up to her in the she first place. She cozied up to me. She cozied up to me. Not that that's any of your concern. And as for Paul, he just tried to kill me, all right? Don't believe me? Call the police. So, no, he is not paying me. No, we are not friends. He tried to kill you why? Because he's as crazy as your daughter. You think he tried to hurt her? Like I said, Susan, he's in jail, remember? Does she know? I, I, I don't, why, you want to throw him another wedding? Don't, we are done here. Oh, Henry, don't leave, not until... Oh, Henry! Susan. Oh, Hal, thank God you've come. Well, I got your message. What's going on? It's Emily, and, and, and I know that you said you've washed your hands of her, but she's disappeared, and, and Henry Coleman just told me that Paul, Paul Ryan tried to kill him. What? He tried to kill him, but he's been arrested. He's been arrested, again. Please, something is terribly wrong. Please tell me that you'll help me. Excuse me, ma'am. We weren't aware the room was uh, occupied. Not a problem. He doesn't look dangerous. You didn't have to wrestle him into the patrol car. Hey, we can oh, put him downstairs. Lord. My right! What a my right! Well, I, 
I was trying to get Henry Coleman to tell me where Emily had gone, and I guess the bartender at Lakeview must have called the cops. Well, uh, wait, I, I don't understand. I thought you and Emily were honeymoon. Okay, look, we've got about two seconds before they come back in here and separate us, so I need your help. Jennifer knows about Emily, and she's going after her. What? I had to tell her everything. I mean, I, I think that after that she saw the photograph and everything that you told her, she would pretty much figured everything out already, but anyway, we made a plan. We told Emily that Dusty had escaped, hoping that Emily would go check on Dusty, and that way we could follow Emily. But then I got knocked out, and now Jennifer's out there by herself, and I can't get a hold of her. And if Emily sees Jennifer before I can get there, God only knows what's going to happen. Cut it out! Cut it out, I mean it. I will kill you and then your girlfriend. Come on, let's go. Hurry it up. Keep moving. So now what? With you, I don't know anything. This is it, Dusty. It's over. Jennifer knows. I have to finish this. America is expecting. In October of this year, the 300 millionth American will be born. Boy or girl will be there. They say you are what you eat. Put a plant in topsoil, you get a starving plant. Because ordinary topsoil has little, if any, nutrition. Now put a plant in miracle Grow garden soil. Wow. Rich, organic ingredients. Plus miracle Grow continuous release plant food. Nourishes nonstop for up to three months. Plants grow twice as big, and you get twice the compliments. That's nice. miracle Grow garden soil. Make your own miracles. It's frustrating. Just when you're ready to relax, you feel the compelling urge to move, along with hard-to-describe sensations in your legs. They can even keep you from getting to sleep. It's called Restless Leg Syndrome, or RLS, a recognized medical condition. And for many, there's relief. Requip, the first and only FDA-approved prescription medication for Restless Leg Syndrome. Requip helps relieve the symptoms of RLS. It can help you make peace with your legs. Requip may cause you to fall asleep or feel very sleepy during normal activities such as driving, or to faint or feel dizzy when you stand up. Tell your doctor if you experience these problems or if you drink alcohol or are taking medicines that make you drowsy. Side effects include nausea, drowsiness, vomiting, and dizziness. Most patients were not bothered enough to stop taking Requip. It's good to get comfortable again. Ask your doctor about restless leg syndrome and if Requip is right for you and help put RLS to rest. One mom. One kid. One wart. One treatment, Compound W Freeze Off. Now I can remove your wart in as little as one treatment. The technology 60,000 doctors use. One treatment. One happy kid. Compound W for warts, it's the one. Yo, yes, you're excited. Ooh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking beneficial. You've never seen anything like it before. It has wholesome grains, real beef, even carrots and peas. So there's carbohydrates for energy and protein for the serious muscles. Oh. And you even get some vegetables. So happy. <laughs> Love it so much you only think you're getting spoiled. Yes, you do. <laughs> but it's good for you, too. Healthful. Flavorful. Beneficial. Beneficial brand by Purina. In the battle to keep your toilet clean, one scrubber has built-in cleaner and just the right fit. Scotch-Brite disposable toilet bowl scrubbers. Powerful cleaning tools. Scotch-Brite. So, for all these years, there has been a body in the basement. The truth is, we really don't know. But you knew about the jewelry, right? And you didn't tell me about that. Mike, we lived here together. For crying out loud, I thought you trusted me. I, I do trust you. I just, I, I didn't think about it. 
How do you not think about something like that? Well, I mean, obviously, I blocked it out. Look, look, I just, I wanted to start fresh, Carly. All that went down when I was a kid. You know, I wouldn't remember it unless I was forced to, and, and that didn't happen until Katie's book came out. Wait. Katie, you wrote Oakdale Confidential? Yes. And I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset anyone by it, and... Please don't tell Jack that I wrote it. He said he was so upset when he read the parts about you, too. I mean, it's not, it's not real. It, it's fiction, and I shouldn't have used people's real names. It's all right. It's all right. It's not your fault. I just, I just really wish that you wouldn't tell Jack. No, don't. Don't worry about it. Jack and I don't have many conversations these days. I'm sorry about that. And I'm sorry I wrote the book. Look, 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 I am the one who hid the jewelry in the basement, all right? If I'd have gone to the cops way back when, none of this would have happened. And you have no idea who stole that jewelry? Or who put that person down there? No. Okay, forgive me, Carter. I never meant to hurt you or your family like this. Mike had nothing to do with putting that body there. He didn't even know it was there until a couple days oh, ago. Oh, no, I know. I'm not, I'm not accusing you of anything, really. It's just, it's awful when you think about it that somebody was walled up like that. You don't have any idea who he is. Well, she could be a woman, right? No, oh, I didn't want to think about it. Forensics will be able to tell us more pretty soon. And until then, your guess is as good as mine. For several generations of plaster, there may be bone fragments, hair, fibers, and who knows what else stuck between the layers. I think it's important that we're very, very careful when we pick it all up. I want you two guys to take the wall. There's a good chance that this thing might have to come down. You think he's afraid of Emily? And Paul. No, no, no I, I take that with a grain of salt. But Oak just tried to kill him, and you must admit, it's very strange the way Emily just suddenly disappeared. And there's something else, too. I called her earlier today to try to mend a few fences, and I suggested that we get together, but she refused. She gave me some stupid excuse, something about having to wait for a delivery for Daniel. But that's ridiculous. She's got a doorman. And anyway, I always know when she's lying. I would have written it off, but you know how long she can hold on to a grudge. Only too well. I thought she was trying to avoid me, but then she said something very strange. Something about having everything under control. And what did she mean by that? I have no idea, except it must have something to do with, with Paul trying to kill Henry. Look, I'm no fan of Paul's, but before we accuse him of attempted murder, let us not forget that Henry is not exactly what you'd call a reliable witness. No, he's not reliable. In fact, I've hated the fact that Emily's been hanging out with him these past few weeks. But I guess that's over. Munson. Yes, I'll be right there. What? Well, Henry was right about one thing. Paul's been arrested. Oh, and you, you've got to go. Okay. I'll call you when I know something. Jennifer. Oh, thank God, Paul. I, I, I didn't get a signal. I couldn't get through. Are you all right? Where are you, Paul? I, I, you have to get here. I, I don't know where Emily is. You lost her? No. I followed her. Like we planned. And she drove to the woods to this house, and I went inside. What? Jennifer, did she hurt you? Did Emily hurt you? There was blood. <laughs> and I found pieces of his shirt, and I know it was Dusty's. I know it was. But Dusty wasn't there. No, Emily hurt him, and I think that she still has him. But you have to get here, Paul. I can't do this by myself. Where are you? I got hung up. Well, I can't do this by myself. You don't have to. You just, you just. You just need to stay where you are. Where are you? Jennifer. I, I heard something. I think it's them. Well, look, just hide, OK? Stay away from Emily. She's dangerous. Now tell me where you are. Jennifer. The end of Old Mill Trail. There's an abandoned farmhouse near the bluffs. Yeah, I know where that is. And you'll come in a hurry? Fast as I can. 
Hurry. Stop. Dusty, I said stop! Why? Are you gonna shoot me? Yes, Dusty. So go ahead. Do it. You wanna shoot me in the back? I don't wanna shoot you all. All right, so don't. It buys you nothing right now anyway. They'll never find your body. They'll never know that I was the one. Paul knows. You think he's gonna cover for you? He wants me dead. He wants you convicted of my murder, but it doesn't have to go down that way, I told you. I don't know what else to do. You can get your story out there before he does. But if you fall apart right now and shoot me, that's murder, baby. That's the rest of your life. Yeah, like that matters. It matters. If you don't want to spend the rest of your life in jail, that's what I'm saying. You gotta get the DA to see that it was Paul's idea. Paul's idea, not your idea. So it's on him. You walk away, clean. But you gotta let me go. I can't. Why not? I can't lose Paul. And what do you think he'll be doing while you're in jail? Shut up! Just shut up! I can't think! He wants to get rid of me because I got close to his sister, and who do you think he sent to do his dirty work? I'm looking at you. Now, is that fair? No, it's not fair. Not after everything I've done for him. Oh, I bet you did it all. You know why? Because Paul Ryan's weak. And weak men are the most dangerous. Why? Because strong women like you, they get sucked in. You take care of his needs, and he plays you. He makes you feel needed. Yeah, that's what he did. But it's not you he needs. It's anybody. Somebody who will do what he says, and if they don't, we'll find somebody new. Meg. Meg, he's using Meg like he's using you. Somebody should put a stop to this. I tried. I tried. He doesn't deserve you. You know that? Why don't you make a decision to take your life back? I thought it was possible. I really thought it could happen. That, that me and Paul, we could be happy, and you and Jennifer, we could all finally be happy you again. You can. You can. Not like this. You gotta go back mm. to the way it used to be. You gotta spend time with your son. <laughs> Take care of him. You can do it. Mm. I know you can. You just gotta walk away. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> I don't want to be alone. You're not. You got your son. <sighs> you have your son and you have your mother. I just want, I just want to be loved. You know, is that so much to ask for? No. <laughs> no. But you got to get some rest. You got to put down the gun. <laughs> you got to get some rest. And then... Then you can take a good hard look at what you want. And if it's a guy, it better be someone who takes care of you, puts you first. Someone you can trust, you know? I thought you could trust him. No, you can't trust him. Look what he did to Jennifer. It never works out for me. They leave me. Everybody leaves me. They use me, or they just... When you love somebody, you don't just walk away. You work it out. You see it through. That's right. That's not me. I don't do that. If I love you, I do everything for you. It's because you're a good person. I am a good person. I am a good girl. But everybody leaves me. You leave me. Paul leaves me. Everybody leaves me. And I'm sick of it. And you should be I'm sick of it. Sick of it. And I know what you want me to do. You want me to walk away. I want you to take your life back. What life? What life? I'm going to jail because of you. No. Yes, I am. So what? So what? You could go back to be Jennifer and, and be happy with Jennifer. You don't give a damn about me. You're using me. Paul's using no, you. No, you're using me. You, Paul, all whoa, of whoa, you. Whoa, wait a second, Emily. Wait a second. No. No! Coming up on As the World Turns. Oh, hey, no, 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 hey, no. hey, hey, your hands hey, off me. Down. Listen, listen, I down. have a right to a lawyer. Drop the gun. I can't. <laughs> Last fall, I moved into our dream house, and my allergies acted up. I tried to cover everything. I even took down my curtains. I don't recommend it. 
My doctor said that I developed new allergies. Where? My basement? Who knows what's down there? Are your allergy symptoms worse than before? You may have developed new allergies. That's why it's important to discuss all your symptoms with your doctor. He may suggest simple changes like using a dehumidifier or prescribe an allergy medicine or both. Zyrtec is the number one prescribed allergy medicine in the U.S. Ask your doctor if Zyrtec is right for you. It's approved to treat both indoor and outdoor allergies and even treats itching due to chronic hives. Zyrtec's most common side effects in adults include drowsiness, tiredness, and dry mouth. Lots of allergies, just one Zyrtec. Here you go, Pete. Hey, Pat. Two years ago, I had a heart attack. Right there where Tina is standing. If it weren't for Bayer aspirin, who knows? To me? Bayer's an amazing thing. Just think about it. The same Bayer aspirin I take for headaches. And me for backaches. Helps save Pop's life. Bayer's an important part of this family. Always will be. It truly is a wonder drug. <laughs> and try extra strength Bayer back and body. It rushes relief to the site of your pain. There's a new pulse in the world. Oral-B Pulsar. A whole new kind of manual brush. Micropulse bristles pivot and pulse deep between teeth for a truly superior clean. Oral-B Pulsar. A breakthrough. Daytime relief from yeast infections. Monistat, day or night. The only over-the-counter treatment you can take during the day. This one-dose treatment begins to relieve symptoms immediately and is virtually leak-free. Fast relief means Monistat. Here at the home of Werther's, we make our smooth, creamy caramel with real butter. Fresh cream and a century of tradition that we're proud to hand down to you. Werther's Original, hard or chewy, the world's favorite caramel. Fact, when it comes to cleaning your toilet, you want something really powerful. But you don't have to go to extremes. Fact, nothing beats the power of Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Its thick formula clings to the bowl, destroying tough stains, even the worst rust. And best of all, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. To help protect your family, you don't need anything else. Life demands Lysol, that's a fact. And to help keep your toilet clean and fresh continuously, try Cling 2-in-1. Tonight, the King of Queens does the scariest thing a man can do. Karaoke. I don't perform well under pressure. Believe me, I know. Then... You got me a hooker. For anyone else, this would be a new low, but for you, it's just a new middle. A new How I Met Your Mother, CBS Tonight. CBS Wednesday. We gotta move fast. It's time for you to escape with the amazing race. That was no easy task. New episode, The Australian Adventure, CBS Wednesday at 8, 7 central. First, we listed our home in the newspaper for a month. Then we called by owner. The buyers also sold their home using by owner. We sold for $20,000 more than we listed in the paper. And saved $23,000 on the commission. That's $43,000. Thanks, Thanks by owner. Thanks, by owner. He became violent. I said, that's it. I'm moving out. Imagine being married to this man. And I have three children. I'm a single parent. He tried to get me fired. Next, Judge Judy. You're not a pretty person. Today at 2 and 3 on CBS 2. Why do I go to Sears Dental? They're open evenings and weekends. Their schedule fits mine. I really like the staff. I like the savings. If you like convenience and savings, you'll love Sears Dental. Save $300 on dentures. Save $120 on crowns. We offer 0% APR financing with no interest or payments for 12 months. So for the care you need from the professionals you trust, call Sears Dental at 1-800-47-SMILE today. My career keeps me very busy. At the BuyOwner website, I entered my state, several cities, and my price range. Within 15 minutes, I found this place. I didn't even use my real estate attorney. Thanks, BuyOwner. Thanks, BuyOwner. A child's life threatened by her stepmom. All new Dr. Phil. Will the champ be dethroned? Nobody give up. Hang on for a new Survivor, CBS Thursday. something yeah maybe listen i want you to take the purse and its contents and analyze it along with the, the plastering the bones and anything else you might find i 
I have no idea whose body that is in the basement. And trust me, I have been racking my brain. All right, but, it, but I didn't put it there, and it wasn't there when I stashed the jewelry. I mean, for all we know, the body could have been put there years later. But why there, in your hiding place, unless it's connected? Obviously, whoever buried the body knew about the jewelry. Maybe not. Maybe he just found the jewelry and kept it. I mean, people used to hide their valuables in the walls all the time. Maybe the murderer just figured he got lucky. No, no, you don't. You can't really believe that. I don't know. All I know is that Mike had nothing to do with it. I'm just hoping Jack can figure it out. You find anything? Team's still working. They're going to be down there for a while, so you two can head back to the cottage if you want. Actually, I was thinking maybe we should go over the Lakeview for a drink. This has been really stressful. Well, fine. I'll meet you over there in a little while. Oh, okay. And Carly, I, I, I really am sorry. I know. Mike Fillion? Yeah. Yeah, he told me about the jewelry and um, finding the bones. Then you understand this is a crime scene, which means you are not to touch the door to the basement. Don't even look at it. And it's an ongoing investigation, so you need to maintain confidentiality. I know. What a crime scene. Then you know that you can't say anything to anybody, Carly, under penalty of law. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go out and tell everybody there's a body in my I basement. I never know what you're going to do, Carly. Thank you for that. I don't think it's a good idea for the kids to stay here tonight, no, either. of course not. I just have to make a couple calls. Sage is next door, and JJ's over at the Stanhopes. Where are you going to be? At the station. You gonna sleep at the station? Nobody's gonna get much sleep tonight. I should get going. The guys are gonna be here for a while. So you said. If you have any questions, I'm sure the team leader would be happy to answer them. Oh, well, at least someone will be happy to talk to me. I, I, gotta, I gotta go. Oh, wait. Here. What, what is this? This. It's your laundry. Oh, uh, Carly, you don't have to do it, my laundry. It was in the dryer already. I thought you might need it. And, and this is Parker's. His baseball uniform is in there. So could you could you drop it by or maybe give it to Hal at the office? Okay. Thank you. OK. Here. I've been waiting here all day, and he gets drive through service? Oh, uh, look, by all means, take a lady first. Yeah, good luck getting an attorney. Uh, you know what? Would you be able to see if my attorney is here yet? I don't want to lodge a complaint, please. Uh, 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 hey, would you be able to check on my mother, give her a call, Emma Snyder, Jack Snyder's aunt? You know, she hired the guy, so she'd be kind of upset if he doesn't show up. And, you know, if she's upset, then Jack's upset, and you don't want Jack upset because uh, I feel sorry for you. What? Go, go ask your partner. He'll tell you who I am. <sighs> Did Jennifer say where she was? Yeah. And I got to get there. Jennifer's freaking out. She saw blood. Dusty's blood. Uh, does she know it's Dusty's blood? It was on his shirt. Hi, uh, your lawyer's tied up in court right now. And as for your mother... You know what? I'm I... calling him myself. Hey, I'm hey, hey. Myself. I can oh, call him. No, hey, no, no, hey, no, no, hey, no. hey, your hey, hands off me. Calm down. Listen, I, calm down. I have the a right to a lawyer. Let, okay? me, Let me go. Let me go. the phone. Yes, Emily, it's me again. Uh, I know I told you that message would be my last, but then I forgot something. I, it, it dawned on me that when I told you to get out of town as fast as your pointy little hooves would carry you, I neglected to mention the fact that I would appreciate it if you would tell me where my money is before you go on the lam. I, when you consider I was under no obligation to warn you about Paul following you, I, I, it just seems to me that the, the nicest thing you could do is return to me what is rightfully mine. Thanks. Goodbye, Emily. Why were you warning Emily about Paul? Oh, 
Barbara, can you wear a bell or something so people know when you're coming up behind them? Emily and Paul were married last I heard. Yes, yes. Yeah, and I'm, well, boy, we missed you at the wedding. What happened? Did Paul forget to send you the invitation? Maybe my son didn't want to subject me to watching him say his vows in a jail cell. Ever think of that? No, I think, I think he just hated your guts. <laughs> Why don't you answer my question? Why were you warning Emily about her husband? Because he's, he's a raving lunatic, Barbara, and because he brutally attacked me, without any provocation, mind you, less than an hour ago. My son attacked you physically? Yes. That doesn't sound like Paul. Well, you can tell that to my wrist. Fortunately, the Oakdale PD are a lot more sympathetic than you are. You got the police involved? Yes, yes. Your bouncing baby boy is back in a slam. I hope he stays there this time. Whatever Paul's done, Emily Stewart is the reason. That woman brings out the worst in everyone. Speak up, Barbara. I don't think they heard you out on the street. Oh, Susan, I didn't see you there. Obviously. <sighs> Emily, don't do it. Not like this. I cannot go home to nothing. It's not nothing. You got another chance. Don't let Paul do this to you. Drop the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Add a capful of Mrs. Dash and watch your dinner move. 14 natural herbs and spices, no salt, no MSG. It's a deliciously bold way to give the same old, same old a good shake shake. <laughs> Mrs. Dash. And try the 10 minute marinades for Mrs. Dash. Salt free, flavor full. Oh, look what I just picked up. What? My prescription for Beniva. Oh, the osteoporosis medicine you take only once a month. Once a month? Shh. Once a month? Yeah, it's that crazy. Crazy. Boniva is the only once monthly treatment for postmenopausal osteoporosis proven to build bone density to help prevent fractures. Can I see? Sure. Unlike weekly treatments, you only need Boniva once a month. You should not take Boniva if you have low blood calcium, severe kidney disease, or cannot sit or stand for at least 60 minutes. Follow dosing instructions carefully. Stop taking Boniva and tell your doctor if you experience difficult or painful swallowing, chest pain, or severe or continuing heartburn, as these may be signs of serious upper digestive problems. Once a month? Month, huh? Far out. Nope, that's far out. That I get. You do the right things to treat your osteoporosis. To build strong, healthy bones, once monthly Boniva. There's only one. Ask your doctor for a free trial offer or call 1 800 4 Boniva. If you have Medicare, you're well aware of the new prescription plans. Still, at CVS Pharmacy, we know how hard it can be to figure out which plan is right for you. But don't worry. We accept all these plans, including the AARP Medicare RX plan and Humana, with the same low prices as any other pharmacy. And our pharmacists are always ready to take the time to help you determine which plan is right for you. Come in and talk to us. We'll help you find out which prescription plan is right for you. Right now, all the unbelievable deals are at Dell. This week only, you can get up to 40% off on select Dell Entertainment Systems. And you can get this awesome Dell Inspiron Notebook with an Intel Celeron M processor and a free wireless card upgrade for only $3.99 after mail-in rebate. It's the perfect balance of mobility, price, and productivity. It's more than an amazing deal. It's a Dell. A desperate call reveals a shocking scandal, but it's the ending that you'll be talking about. You me out to your friend, and it's my fault? New CSM Miami, CBS Tonight. You are now prisoners of war. Keep faith with each other and your country. Start on the kidneys. The tactics are brutal. God bless Daddy so he doesn't get hurt. No! Dusty! Drop it. I said, drop it. Emily! Emily! Where's Paul Ryan? I got a call saying he was picked up. 
Uh, he was picked up. So, where is he? He slipped out while we were dealing with another what? prisoner. What? How? Who had custody of Paul Ryan? I guess Henry told you. Called the cops on your son. Yes, he mentioned something about that, though I don't put any stock in anything that Henry Coleman has to say. Well, this time he was telling the truth. I was with Hal when he got the call. Your son's back in the slammer again. <sighs> Better go see if there's anything I can do. Oh, relax. If there's the equivalent of frequent flyer miles over at the Oakdale jail, your son must be getting an upgrade to a first-class cell. <laughs> you must be proud. Okay, Susan, we're even now. Can we stop trading insults, all right? Why did he do it? Henry is a very annoying man. I've wanted to slug him myself on more than a few occasions. Why did Paul marry Emily? She thought it was over. She thought he had moved on. And then out of the blue, he told her he loved her and uh, th that he was wrong to bail on her the first time when they were supposed to get married. Paul said that? I didn't believe it either, but she did, so she went through with that horrible, pathetic wedding ceremony. And then Paul got out of jail. And now, I don't know, it's like she's dropped off the map. I'm afraid something's happened, something bad. Like what? I don't know, I just have a bad feeling that... That she's in worse trouble than she's ever been in, and marrying Paul somehow has brought it all to a head. Oh, right. When in doubt, blame Paul Ryan. Well, I don't. Not, not entirely. Emily got herself into this. But I, I just wish I knew what Paul was getting out of it. <laughs> well, I wish I could tell you, Susan, but as I'm sure you already know, Paul doesn't really confide in me much anymore. I call him every day. I leave messages. He never returns my calls. Yeah, Emily never calls me back either. Well, I guess we have something in common for one night. I guess so. So what do we do now, shake hands? Ooh, I don't know. Is there anything in the mother-in-law's manual that covers this? I don't think so. Just don't ask me to buy you a drink. I don't think I could deal with the temptation. Well, then, um, there's always a decaf cappuccino. If you don't mind being seen on the street with me. Walk might do me good. Ma'am? We just taped the basement door, so don't go down there. You no, know, I don't think I'll be going down in that basement uh, ever again. <clears throat> um, is there someone who can stay with you tonight? Sorry, it's just that I know that Jack... Yeah, Jack... He's going to be busy with the case. You don't want to be alone tonight. No, I don't. But sometimes that's just the way it is. But thank you. Nobody's gonna get much sleep tonight. So I'll have a cup of tea. You understand that this is a crime scene. In other words, you're not to touch the door to the basement. Don't even look at it. I won't. I won't. Look at it! as bad as it was and you know me I can't even sit through a scary movie without diving under my coat <clears throat> that this was not moving still I'm glad it happened I am I mean we got everything out in the open Carly knows Jack knows and it's over I don't know if it's over exactly well we don't know the identity of the skeleton and we don't know who put it there but 
You told the police about the jewelry. You brought them to where the skeleton was. I mean, you've done your part. You apologized to Carly. Now we can go home and you can sleep. It's all good. I hope so. I just hope Jack doesn't find out that I wrote that book. Uh, look, I, I wouldn't worry about that. Didn't you say Nancy took credit? Yeah, she's such a sweetheart. You guys have all been so good about this. Uh, maybe it's just a book. I'm sorry, do you didn't know about the jewelry? I knew you didn't know about the skeleton. I'm a lucky man. Why? Because you believe in me. Of course I believe in you. I love you. No, no, you just, you deserve better. Don't say that. I, I should have taken care of this jewelry thing a long time ago. Honey, it's like you said. You blocked it out. But now it's all out in the open and it's over and we're gonna get married and live happily ever after and that's that. Hey, you two. Hey, Jack, um, can I buy you a beer or something? Oh, no, another time. I'm still working. How are you holding up, Katie? Any better? Yeah, much. Good. Um, did you find out who the skeleton belonged to? No, not yet. Forensic still has to sift through all that plaster, look for hairs, fibers, blood, anything that can give us a clue about that body. I'm surprised it went so long without being noticed. I have a feeling the skeleton predated Jack and Carl. Yeah, if, in fact, it was a dead body that was dumped in that wall and not the, just the remains. How do you find that out? Well, the microbiologists got to get in there and do their thing. It could take some time. Did you find anything else in the wall? Yeah, that's why I'm here. This is it. Today's Daytime Dollars official winning code number. For your chance to win cash and prizes, register today at DaytimeDollars.com and keep watching for more chances to win. Good luck. Oh, look at that lonely soul. All dressed up and nowhere to go. But something's missing. Lay's potato chips. That light, crispy, irresistible taste. A sandwich and Lay's. Soulmates. It's <laughs> your smile on. Kids happen in little steps. That's why only pull ups premium brand training pants have easy open sides. Just in case. You made it. To fight bad breath, you have to clean the back of your tongue. So either get a roll out tongue or reach fresh and clean toothbrush and tongue cleaner. It removes bacteria on your tongue, which causes up to 90% of bad breath. Reach fresh and clean. America's favorite push up bra is now even better. Smoother with an infinity edge that eliminates the line between you and your bra. The all-new, very sexy push-up, only at Victoria's Secret. You mean you haven't tried Honey Bunches of Oats yet? You don't know what you're missing. We do. I've been eating it longer than I've been making it. Put a lot of good stuff in here. It's got three kinds of flakes mixed in. Just the right touch, honey. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Wow, this stuff really does taste good. She's new here. Wakes you up a little nicer in the morning. I'm partial to the crunchy clusters. I kind of like the flakes. Honey Bunches of Oats, there's a whole bunch to love. Come on, try a bowl. We made some just for you. Home sweet home. Time for a fresh new look. I say start at the top with Excellence Cream from L'Oreal. Absolutely beautiful color that's hassle-free. So creamy rich it doesn't drip. Nothing protects better or guarantees my color like Excellence. Beautiful, sensational, softer than silk. And nothing covers grays better than Excellence. Assuming you have any, thinking makeover, start at the top. With triple protection Excellence Cream from L'Oreal Paris. Because you're worth it. Soft Soap searched and searched for the softest of soft. And there's nothing like the softness of real cashmere. New Soft Soap Pure Cashmere, the first and only body wash made with real cashmere extract and moisturizing cream. Proven to hydrate and soften even the driest skin. Wrap yourself in cashmere soft skin. New Pure Cashmere Body Wash, only from Soft Soap. Feel the softness. You are high, and your partner almost got killed because of it. I am coming apart from the inside. Do you want to die? Is that what you want? I'm warning you. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Guiding Light, weekdays, CBS Daytime. I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm hoping the forensics gets back to me as early as tomorrow with their preliminary findings. Date of death, age, sex of the victim. 
It's just so strange. I mean, you see that skeleton and it's terrifying, and then you realize that it was actually a live person once. That's because death is staring you in the face, Katie, but you're right. That was a real live person at one time, and they deserve a name and a decent burial. How's Carly holding up? That's why I wanted to talk to you guys here instead of back at the house. She's still pretty shaken up. She'll be okay, though. Mike, you're not planning any business trips anytime soon, are you? Why are you asking? It's not like he's a suspect, is he? No, let's not jump the gun here. I just, I may have some questions once friends excuse me something to go on. Oh, uh, Jack, I'll help you any way I can, but I mean, I have no idea who the victim is. Uh, I know, that could change once we narrow it down, that's all. I'll do anything I can, Jack, you know that. Okay, good. No worries, then. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Kitty. Bye. That was scary. What do you mean? Well, for a minute there, Jack made it sound like you could actually be a suspect. I still might be. No. First thing he said when he came up here was he was working. Then he told me not to leave town. Well, that's just because he said that he might need your help. They might need more information when they identify who the skeleton was. That's it. I mean, he can't actually think that you had anything to do with how that person died. He can't. It was a long time ago, Katie. He could think anything. If you have any questions, I'm sure the team leader will be happy to answer them. Answers. Just want my husband back. deliberately created a disturbance so that Paul Ryan could escape. That's aiding and abetting, Meg. That's hindering an investigation. That's... What it took, Cal. it's gonna cost you. So it's gonna cost me. Somebody had to rescue Jennifer. Jennifer? What's Jennifer got to do with this? She's trying to save Dusty. And that's right, she found out where he is, and she's there right now, ready to do whatever it takes to get him back. That's why Paul ran out, because he knew that you wouldn't believe us. And if anything happens to her, you'll only have yourself to blame. What are you talking about? Dusty is alive. At least I still hope he is. Jennifer found blood on his clothes. Well, she did. And why didn't she call me? She would have, Hal. But she knew you'd shut her down. Like the way you shut all of us down, because you're so convinced Paul is guilty, you don't see past that. Dusty was kidnapped by Emily, and she might have even killed him by now. And if Jennifer gets to her before Paul does, then God help them both. Sponsored in part by Simon & Schuster. On the next, As the World Turns. Did you forget something? When I saw your, your car side, I heard the gunshot. No, you don't want to fight. You're a liar! Where is Dusty? Where, where is he? I told myself, if I ever saw you again, I'd kill you. Fact. Viruses cause diarrhea, the common cold, and even the flu. 
If you use a product that only kills bacteria, you won't be killing the viruses that can also make your family sick. You need Lysol Disinfectant Spray. Fact. Lysol kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. Help protect your family with Lysol Disinfectant Spray. Why would you trust anything else? Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. Where does depression hurt? Everywhere. Who does depression hurt? Everyone. Did you know that depression hurts emotionally and physically? Not everyone looks at depression that way. Cymbalta is a prescription medication for depression that treats both its emotional and painful physical symptoms. Cymbalta works on serotonin and norepinephrine. People taking MAOIs or thyroidazine or who have uncontrolled glaucoma should not take Cymbalta. Tell your doctor if your depression worsens or you have thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these thoughts or behaviors in children under 18. Talk to your doctor if you have liver disease and about your alcohol consumption. Side effects may include nausea, dry mouth, and constipation. Ask your doctor about Cymbalta. Depression hurts, but you don't have to. I know. It's not easy. What could I say or what could I do to make a decision? Pour réfléchir. Je pourrais me rendre très heureux. Ah Garçon Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire Ça vient de Appelez-moi le directeur Oh, that was fast. Wonder where the clog went. New liquid plumber power jet. Blast clogs away in three seconds. Far away. So, you have dry, cracked, scaly feet and heels, and moisturizing hasn't helped? It may not be enough to take care of your feet. Take cure of your feet with Lamisil AT Cream. That condition you have may be a type of athlete's foot. Lamisil AT is clinically proven to cure it. For beautifully healthy feet, take cure of your feet with Lamisil AT. Now, to keep those fabulous feet silky smooth, introducing Lamisilk Intensive Foot Therapy. Now in your foot care aisle. Go to TakeCure.com for great savings. Our show was in half an hour. But with my allergies, I wasn't all there. So I got Claritin Clear. Claritin D relieved my worst symptoms, even my congestion, and I wasn't drowsy. Nothing works stronger, faster, or longer. Live Claritin Clear. Once I started using the Origel tooth desensitizer, it was like, wow, pain-free for the rest of the month. And it's just absolutely fantastic. Origel, swab it on, sensitivity gone. Thank you so much, Origel. TV's best action is on CBS Tuesday. First, cyanide gas. A gripping new NCIS. Who would want to kill me? I don't want you to be alone tonight, Ash. Do not open the door, or I will tie you up. Really? Then, you are now prisoners of war. Start on the kidneys. God bless Daddy so he doesn't get hurt. The Unit. TV's best action is on CBS Tuesday. To stop a psychopath, these profilers must match wits. You killed hundreds of people. Did I? With the darkest of minds. Are you afraid of me? No. They drama criminal minds. Then... My name is King! CSI New York rocks. We kid you not. I didn't shoot that driver. You know how many guilty people sing that same song? Kill someone! NYPD! Hey! Hey! Uh, are you scared? A new CSI New York CBS Wednesday. Jewelry, the perfect Mother's Day gift. The Jewelry Exchange has diamond heart pendants with 34 diamonds for 79 and emerald and diamond rings for 59 Prices so low, 